you're an entrepreneur or small business owner, right? Are you utilizing Facebook? You're an entrepreneur or small business owner, right? Are you utilizing Facebook ads or Instagram ads? If not, it's probably because you just don't know how to produce the content. At EarlHallStudio.com, we can create a audio commercial as well as video commercials for you to really get attention to your business and make more money. Audio commercials for radio and audio platforms start at just $99. Or you can go all in with a great commercial for your business to be aired online or even on TV starting at just $197. Get more information at EarlHallStudio.com. And good morning, everyone. Welcome into the broadcast here on Conversations Radio Network, as well as broadcasted live on my Instagram feed. This is your host, Earl Hall of Align With Your Purpose. Today, I've got a great show for you today. We're going to be talking about what it takes to build your business. And so make sure you are subscribed to me on Instagram at Align With Your Purpose so you can watch my live feed if you want to. But also make sure that you check out the website alignwithyourpurpose.co and you'll be able to see everywhere that the show is podcasted and you can listen live right there from Conversations Radio Network. Just go to alignwithyourpurpose.co, click on the link at the top that says live broadcast and podcast and you'll get all the info right there. Today, I want to get into some things about what it takes to build your business in 2019 and beyond. We're more than halfway through the month of January, and I'm really wondering if people are still stuck where they are, not really knowing the actions that they ought to take. So many times, you know, and I do this as well, I give folks kind of a 30,000 foot view of what it's going to take to build your business. And today, I kind of want to dig into a very specific strategy that I believe is going to help so many folks, regardless of the the product or service that you provide. So when you take a look at what it is that you offer, let's just start there. What is it that you actually offer? Now, it could be a physical product, it could be a digital product, it could be a service that you provide, it could be coaching, a whole plethora of different things that you could be doing. Right now, in the age that we live in, you've heard me say there is no barrier to entry to what it is that you want to accomplish and what it is that you want to do. There's no one that you have to answer to. The only thing that really needs to happen is that you have to get a very good grasp on how to utilize the internet appropriately and pretty much also social media. And what it's going to take to do that. And that's what we're going to try and dig into today. How is it that you can actually utilize some very specific things on social media that is going to help you start, build, and grow the business that you want to have? What I want to dig into is Facebook today. Facebook is one of the leading places that anyone can get started talking about the business that they have. And you've heard me say in broadcasts before, producing content is your cost of entry. And so many people are scared to just start because they're scared of of maybe looking stupid in their own opinion. But so many things that we think about ourselves, whether it's how you look, what your race is, what your religion is, whether you're male or female, what part of the country you live in, the market does not care. The only thing that the market cares about is if you can solve the problem that they have, if you can scratch the itch that they have, it does not matter. And so many times I think people, well, I realize people hold themselves back because they're scared of the opinions of others. And so they're scared to get on things like Facebook because they're worried about something, somebody saying something they don't want to say about them or something along those lines. And it's very fear-based. 
And it is the thing that holds so many people back. It is something that has to be gotten over because in the digital age that we live in now, again, if you're not producing content in video form, audio form or blogs or images and pictures, there's not going to be a lot that you can do because this is the world we live in. And you've got to get very accustomed to participating in the world that we live in. You know, the brick and mortar stuff, it's always going to be out there. Brick and mortar buildings, as far as businesses, you know, we call it brick and mortar. But when you have a digital business that is online, you have really no overhead. You have, you don't have an exorbitant amount of rent that you have to pay for building space, all the different types of insurance. There's just so much that when you really get into operating your business in this digital age, it can be really something phenomenal that can happen for you. So one of the first things I want to dig into is Facebook. And let me explain to you how I use uh, Facebook in particularly for I'm a coach in the voiceover industry. That is one of the things that I've been known for pretty much over the past five years is in this marketplace of voiceover. So one of the things that I have is a Facebook group. Now, Understand the distinction. There is a Facebook page, or some people might call it a Facebook business page, and then there is a Facebook group. The reason that I love the Facebook group is because you can allow people to get in or not get in to your Facebook group. I have mine set up so that people that want to join my group, it's free to join, but you just need to answer three questions for me. And If you answer those questions, you get in the group. If you don't answer the questions, you don't get in the group. For me, the questions that I ask for my group, and it's called Steps to VoiceOver Success, and the title says it all in regards to what it is that I talk about there. But the reason that I ask the questions of people initially when they're joining the group, joining the group is so that I get an understanding of what it is that they're looking for. I get an understanding of what their problems are or their issues are with building their voiceover career. And you can do this for any industry. You don't have to ask questions or you can ask questions, but you have that level of control. And at this point, we're approaching 1,300 people that are members of my particular Facebook group that I'm talking about. And the reason why you want to have a Facebook group, at least this is my reasoning, is that you want to be able to talk to the people that are interested in what it is that you do or the product that you sell. But more so in particularly, you want to know the issues and the problems that they have so that you know how to explain your product and service in a way that is going to let them know that you have the answers to their question. So how do you even go about building up a Facebook group? And again, I'm talking about a Facebook group here, not a Facebook page. There's a couple of ways that you can really go all in and build a Facebook group. And it's going to take you producing content, not only within Facebook, per se, on your own page or your business page, because you want to have both. You want to have a page that anybody can see, because Facebook groups, even though you can have them open and exposed to the world, my Facebook group is what's called a, is it a private? Not private. I forget what it's called, but there's a couple, there's three different settings. One is basically open and it's public and there's two other groups. The hardest one is the private group. You can't even see it on Facebook, but I have the middle one and basically it allows people to see the group, but they have to answer my questions in order to join the group. And that's how I have that set up. So one of the ways that I built my Facebook group was producing YouTube videos and talking about how people can interact with me more because so many times people don't do live streams. I do a lot of live streams on YouTube, but many, most people, they do, they do pre-recorded and they upload it to YouTube. And that's how I start building my Facebook group because what I did was, is I produced the content on YouTube And I talked about my Facebook group that was free to join. If you wanted to get more information or learn more about your problem or whatever it is that you're trying to overcome or your issue. And so that's how that Facebook group started to build over time, a very short period of time, actually, in under a year. Um, It got to the point where it is now. 
But when you're looking to have a Facebook group, you've got to be able to direct people to it. Now, you can do that with an audio podcast as well. You can direct people to your Facebook group so that they can join up. But here's the thing that people expect in a Facebook group, at least what I've seen. What people expect from a Facebook group is that they're going to go there and they're going to be able to get help with their problem. That's what they expect. So, well, wait a minute, Earl, if I'm just giving away all this information for free and they're just able to ask me questions or whatever, how in the heck am I going to build my business? That's the secret to this whole thing. One of the things that so many marketers understand and know, and this is, uh, it could be taken the wrong way or out of context, but... Marketers know that you can give away your best information, literally. You can give away your secrets. You can give away, you know, 80, 90% of your secrets. People are still going to want to talk to you and touch you and be able to interact with you in a very one-on-one way. And that's how you start making your money. Because even though you give away your best stuff, let's just say you're a coach and you're giving away your best secrets and all that stuff, people are not going to take the initiative to do it. 80 to 90% of people, they're just not going to do the work. They want someone to hold their hand. This is just data. This is just true. And this is why you see most people not moving and not executing. Think about yourself or think about some other people that you know that watch YouTube videos on the how to and how to build a business and da da da, but still have not taken the initiative, still have not gone all out on what it is that they say that they want to do. So one of the key things about a Facebook group is that it's a lot more, it's, it's probably one of the most intimate things that you can do depending on the type of business or product or service that you have, because you can go on Facebook and do live streams and just chat with the folks that are there. You can post the things you want. You can see the questions. Here's a key thing, especially for a coach like myself, you can see the questions that people are asking and you can create content around that. You can create free programs, free videos that you can post, or you can create full blown out courses based on questions that people ask. And now you can go in depth into a question without having to spend hours and hours and hours in a Facebook group. I probably spend maybe 30 minutes a day in a Facebook group answering questions or liking things that people are posting or giving comments of that nature. Of course, now with over 1,300 people in my Facebook group, I can't address everything. So that's why I do live streams a lot is because I want people to get to know me and understand who it is that I am, how it is that I work, and how it is that I operate. What I want to do right now is I want to take a short break, and I'm going to come back, and I'm going to tell you one of the best things that can happen from you having a Facebook group and really starting to build that. It's not going to happen overnight, so don't expect it to, but it will happen over time if you have the tenacity and the patience to execute on it. We're going to go ahead and take a break, and I'll be right back. Get the book, Align With Your Purpose by Earl Hall. Find and walk in your purpose. Get the answers to your questions about life and how to make it exactly what you want are in this book. This is your chance to stop living in a life you hate. Discover how to manifest the life you actually want. Get Align With Your Purpose now on Amazon, paperback, Kindle, or audiobook. You're an entrepreneur or small business owner, right? Are you utilizing Facebook ads or Instagram ads? If not, it's probably because you just don't know how to produce the content. At EarlHallStudio.com, we can create an audio commercial as well as video commercials for you to really get attention to your business and make more money. Audio commercials for radio and audio platforms start at just $99. Or you can go all in with a great commercial for your business to be aired online or even on TV, starting at just $197. Get more information at EarlHallStudio.com. Thanks so much, folks, for keeping it locked right here on Align With Your Purpose. I'm your host, Earl Hall. Make sure that you visit the website, alignwithyourpurpose.co, and see how many more ways you can interact with me there as well. I've got some trainings coming up in the next couple of weeks that I'm sure you're going to want to take a look at right there on the site. 
Today we're talking about what it takes to build your business. And in the first segment, we got into Facebook. We got into developing a Facebook group and some strategies on how to build that group utilizing things like YouTube, your own personal Facebook page, your business Facebook page, a podcast or whatever, directing people to your Facebook group. And the people that join your Facebook group, you're going to have some of the most loyal fans that are going to be there because those are the people that really, really, really want what you have. And I haven't seen another medium, at least for me, that works as well as having a Facebook group to be able to to build uh, a relationship with other people and that other people can really tap into who it is that you are if you are utilizing the Facebook group appropriately, like doing live streams once a week or every day. I mean, when I talk about doing a live stream, I'm not talking about an hour. I'm talking about just coming on five, 10 minutes and talking about something very specific and showing up for people to answer questions that they have. Now, let me just tell you this. The Facebook that the Facebook group that I have, especially for the voiceover stuff that I do, the voiceover coaching that I do, it's got over 1,300 members. Well, it's approaching. I'm sorry. It's approaching 1,300 members in that group in less than a year. And one of the biggest things that you can get out of having a Facebook group and actually interacting with the people in that group and giving them the answers to the questions that they have It is the place that you can get more social proof than ever. I do classes, I do trainings, I do webinars, and I always use testimonials. And you know where those testimonials come from? You guessed it. They come from that Facebook group. I have people that will send me video testimonials, that'll send me written testimonials, and they're right there in the group. That group is like, thanks, Earl, so much for that information you gave me, da 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 boom, screenshot. It's a testimonial that I can put on a sales page that I developed for a webinar or whatever. The last time that I asked for uh, video testimonials, I had seven different people shoot me over te- video testimonials that were off the chain. And I use that to promote something that I wanted to promote as far as a class that I'm teaching uh, for the voiceover community. Those testimonials are the are lifeblood for marketers. They really are lifeblood and can give you that social proof that you need. Now, here's the thing, because I see some people using testimonials in the wrong way, kind of like um, – People will do a program and they'll say, hey, if you sign up for my program, give me a testimonial as to why you signed up. I don't, my opinion, it's like putting the cart before the horse. They haven't taken your course. They haven't learned anything. The testimonials that I use are people that have used my training and my teaching and they're able to say what that training and teaching helped them with. You know, so those are the type of testimonials that I like are the proof is in the pudding. So the people that give the testimonials, they've basically, they're telling their story about what the information I've given them has done for them and how it's helped them build what it is that they're looking to build. So you want to use that Facebook group to talk to your audience. You want to use and have, here's the thing, please don't think that thousands of people are going to join your Facebook group tomorrow. They're not. This takes work. And it's okay because all of this takes work. You've got to have, as you're going to hear me say more and more, the tenacity and the patience. You've got to have the tenacity to go all in and do whatever it takes and the patience to do it for however long it takes. I want to thank you guys for tuning in today to this show, this episode of Align With Your, Align With Your Purpose with yours truly, your host, Earl Hall. Make sure that you do visit my website, alignwithyourpurpose.co. If you're a business owner, if you need a commercial for radio or television, give me a holler. Go check out my website at earlhallstudio.com. It's earlhallstudio.com, and we can get you going with something spectacular. Thank you once again, guys, for tuning in. I'll see you tomorrow.